Hey, what's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. You're going to notice right off that this is a little different video than normal. Well, I thought that I would do something a little different and really put the focus on the subject at hand. And the subject is what makes a cyclist a cyclist? Well, there's a lot of misconceptions. Many people, cyclists included, feel in order to be a cyclist, you have to fit a certain mold. Firstly, you must ride a bicycle that costs in the thousands of dollars. Secondly, you must dress head to toe in lycra, or better known as spandex. Thirdly, you have to be riding clipless pedals. And fourthly, you must ride 20 to 50 miles every time you go out. Now let's go over those so-called rules with some reality. First, any bicycle will do. Whether it's $100 or $10,000, as long as the bike is safe and roadworthy. Second, wear clothing you feel comfortable in. Personally, I wear my everyday clothes. Wearing some cycling shorts with a nice comfy chamois is great and you can wear those under your normal clothes if you choose. But don't feel the need to dress head to toe in spandex if you don't want to. Third, I have never ridden clipless shoes, pedals, and don't really feel the need. Some find them okay and some find them hard to get used to. If I never try them, I don't have those things to worry about. Fourth, the amount of miles you ride will vary as a cyclist. I have ridden upwards of 100 miles, or as cyclists like to call it, a century in one day. And I've ridden all the way down to 3 miles in a single ride. Although the single digit rides normally only happen when I ride my trail bike. For the most part, I try to always ride at the very least 11 miles. For me, it's a goal to hit double digits plus a little extra for good measure. Most of my daily rides are between 11 and 15 miles. That's where I feel comfortable. So how many miles should you ride and how often? Well, I feel in order to be considered a cyclist, you should be hitting at least double digits. You need to ride on a consistent basis, uh, around three times a week, I would say, or more. A cyclist may even set personal goals. Now, are you a cyclist if you ride around the block every day or around the neighborhood with the kids? No, and don't feel bad about it. What you are is someone who enjoys riding bikes and having fun and enjoying life. That's what's important. Last but not least, what kind of bike you ride is not important either. Drop bar, flat bar, road bike, comfort cruiser, commuter, urban shredder like my Raleigh Redux, BMX, etc. You just make sure the bike can do what you expect of it. So that's it. Those are just a few things that were on my mind and I thought that I would share with you. If you have any uh, of your own thoughts and opinions, please leave them in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that I inspire you to uh, get out and ride or play a video game or work out or draw, do photography, whatever your, whatever your poison might be. And guys, I also hope that you get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. And we'll see you in the next video. See y'all later.